Hey everyone, my name is Nolan, and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can download Pixel Gun 3D on your computer, laptop, whatever it is. So the first thing you're going to want to do is either click the link down in the description or open your web browser. And in the search bar, you're going to type in BlueStacks. Now, essentially what this is, is an emulator, and you guys can use other emulators if you prefer them. However, BlueStacks is the one I'm most familiar with, and it's just the one we're going to use in this tutorial. What you're going to want to do is click the BlueStacks 10 link right here, and it will take you to the download page for BlueStacks 10. Then what you're going to want to do is click the download button here, and as you guys can see right here in the bottom left corner of the screen, I have the BlueStacks10.exe file. What you're going to want to do is click this, and it will download all the files needed to open the installer. Once everything is installed, you should have a screen that looks like this. And what you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom left corner and click on the weird stack icon. This is called the app player and your computer might ask you to download it. If it asks you to download it, do it. You will need it in order to play Pixel Gun. What you're going to want to do is click this icon to open the app player. Once you have the app player open, it should essentially look like a phone home screen. I already have Pixel Gun installed, but if you guys don't have Pixel Gun installed, what you're going to do is click the search thing at the top of the screen and type in Pixel Gun 3D and then go ahead and hit enter. And as you guys can see, Pixel Gun right here is the first one installed. And since I already have it installed, it's just going to open for me right away. Okay, so now I have Pixel Gun open, and if you guys haven't signed in with your account, make sure to sign in your account by clicking the uh, Android sign in button. Uh, you might even be able to do it in settings or something like that. But now that everything is up and running, let's go over some settings that can help you improve your game. So what you guys will notice right now is that if I go into a game, I can't actually, you know, just click to shoot or click um, or drag my mouse uh, around the screen to move my camera. I actually have to click and hold in the designated moving area in order to move my cursor and then I have to tap the fire button in order to shoot the weapon. Well, there is actually a way you can work around this. What you're going to want to do is go over to the sidebar here and you're going to want to click game controls okay so now what you're going to want to do is go to the controls editor right here and what you're going to want to do is or go over to the right side here and find the aim pan and shoot what you're going to want to do is drag this onto your screen a little bit to the right of the crosshair just like this um, and then you're going to want to delete what's in the middle there and change it to a key that you are comfortable with for playing the game what this is going to do is it's going to enable the shooter mode so that way you can drag your mouse around and it will move your camera and then you can click the right click to shoot and left click to aim or whatever or the other way around sorry but yeah i'm going to go with the middle mouse button so i'm just going to click the middle mouse and then click enter and what this will oh sorry not click enter actually you don't want to click anything except the middle click there then just click off the screen just delete that i guess um and yeah now we have the fps shooter mode enabled so now you're going to click save uh, exit out of this and now you can experiment with it so now if I middle click I can drag my mouse around and move it like normal and um, yeah now I don't have the mouse on the screen and it's playing like an actual PC game instead of uh, a mobile like touch screen game so now what you're gonna want to do uh, to get out of this is just middle click again and you're out of it normally it's set to F1 but I just changed it to middle click just like that so now what you're gonna want to do is go back into the controls and what you will may notice is there is no button for actually shooting for you guys there may there may be one however i accidentally deleted one so what you're going to want to do is go into the settings mode and i actually probably should show you how you do this you go to this button and you go down to this really really tiny gear e gear icon and you're going to click the settings mode now what you're going to want to do is you notice that there's a lot of stuff going on here so what you're going to want to do is enable the fire with left click mode. And once that is enabled, um, it probably isn't going to be on the screen anywhere. So what you're going to want to do is put it on the screen. And what you should be able to do is do something like 10 and 10 and then click save. And maybe it's on the screen somewhere. Yeah, see over here in the corner, it's now on the screen. And if you just drag this over to the fire button, now when you uh, left click, it will shoot. And if you don't actually want it to be visible on screen, you're just going to uncheck this icon right here, which says show keys on screen. And now 
if I save my changes and exit out, you guys can see the mouse button isn't actually showed on screen, but now I can actually shoot and we're all good. You guys can, of course, play around with as many controls as you want, but I don't have a lot of experience with this, so I might not be able to help you guys out. But for example, down here, I have different keys set for three cats. So um, I have two mouse buttons on my mouse, so I can actually switch using my mouse and Q, and I can switch pretty dang fast by doing something like this. Um, and I can just kind of switch between all sorts of weapons here. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, do not forget to leave a like on this video and also consider subscribing for more Pixel Gun content uh, just like this. And also leave a comment um, uh, for maybe help. I don't know. I might try and help you guys. Uh, comments also might be able to help you guys. So yeah, do not forget to leave a comment um, asking for help or maybe helping others. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.